mixed medium because it's oil, acrylic, it has a little bit of everything in there, um, a caustic wax on it as well. Um, but that's the, I call it the Ramona Lisa. <laughs> so, uh, what we're doing is um, sort of mimicking it. Whether he does the, the metal first or I do the oil, whatever comes first, the other part is going to sort of mimic the shapes. Oh, her. Oh. You see the, uh, the rectangles, the triangles, the angles, you know, the hard edge. Uh, there. Mm. I made that on my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty yeah. So imagine that you have a death in the and you have a I am a calligraphy artist. I am an abstract painter. Art is how I breathe, it is how I express, it is how I also heal. And so it's my intention that when you engage with my work, that you're reminded of your own inner wisdom, your own light, and your resiliency. This is like 300 year old Southern Yellow Pine. So it was shipped up from the South. Uh, shortly after the Civil War, it was what built industry in the mill towns and mill cities of Massachusetts. Now some of those buildings are starting to come down, so I reclaimed the wood and clean it up and turn it into what we see. Yeah, so yeah. It has a nice little story behind it, a little piece of history. and. Uh, so the Japanese wood burning technique is something where you use a torch, I use a pipe sweating torch, you give it a light burn and come back with some oil and then give it another burn. And so that brings the sort of root of the uh, sap out of the tree, but leaves the hard line. So there we go. it's a little bit of a process. Uh, there. Mm. I'll make that on my life. <laughs> Yeah, these were these were palette paintings. I love this one. I was I, I was I was in the I was in a hotel and I spilled wine on it. <laughs> so I called it spilled wine. <laughs> showing up because we are feeding off of your amazing energy. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> I'd like to thank. I know they're so humble they don't want me to mention their names, but I will. Uh, Jill and Rufus Jones, who are sitting here, they decided to purchase a piece of property that belonged to the writer James Weldon Johnson in Western Massachusetts, where they started an artisan residence program, and they hosted me there, where I was then able to invite Kamel and Nolan uh, different years to come. And what was instilled in us was community pushing forward the legacy in collaboration. We've been able to do something that's not really seen, which is a term called collaboration. Uh, not very easy, there's a lot of give and take, but what you gain from it is a power that doesn't exist with just one mind. We have multiple mediums, multiple approaches that now we're able to share and connect with people on a singular level or in the masses through us three coming together in that way, so. I don't think uh, meeting is just by chance, I think everything is like bits and puzzles to our lives. And oftentimes, I, I believe, unfortunately for a lot of people, they don't follow or pursue their purpose in life. And sometimes we have bits and puzzles, whether it be relationships, highs and lows. And it's like, why did that happen to me when I was six or seven years old? But sometimes when you pursue your purpose, all those puzzles start to come, and those pieces start to come together, I begin to see, oh, I know why that happened. Sometimes things happen in our life, it's not just for us, it's for someone else. And uh, 